Hi there, this is Anjay and I welcome you all to this English learning YouTube channel English Every Day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something very special. Yes, I'm going to talk about how to be fluent in English. As many of my students, they're asking me this question like, how can we be fluent in English? As like many of you are dealing with different things in English, for example, like you're having presentations, meetings, con calls, uh, training, corporate training, and there are many other things you have. And somewhere or the other, you feel that at the time of speaking, you are not so fluent and it doesn't give a good impact to your listener. So how can you be fluent? In this video, we are going to talk about some points that will help you to be more fluent in your English language. So without getting late, let's jump into the point. So the first point I would like to say is having thought system. See, once you prepare your brain to speak any languages, you need to do certain things. Now, what are those things? What I'm focusing on, I'm focusing over the thought system. See, to speak any languages you want to, you have to have a setting in your brain. Setting, it doesn't mean like you need to make some changes. It's only something you have to collect some data in your brain for those languages. Just like if you are a Taiwanese person and you speak uh, Mandarin and you want to speak English and want to be fluent, then you just need to clear your brain into CF. CF meaning converting factor. It means you need to start reading those things. You need to start watching the videos for those particular things. So you should have some data, some kind of structure, some kind of, uh, you know, you can say some kind of uh, formulas in your brain. And those formulas will help you to be perfect in English. In my channel, you can watch out some of the videos where I have uploaded the videos for structures, for formulas, for the grammar. And those grammatical structures will develop your brain to be more fluent. And the next you need to do the practices. The second point we would like to say here is making mistakes. You are the person who feel that if you speak English, you are making mistakes. And those mistakes doesn't lead to be more confident to speak English fluently. Because you feel that you are making mistakes at the time of speaking. For example, if you say, he don't understand my language. And you feel that, oh, he don't should be wrong. It should be he doesn't. You say, he did not call to me. And actually, it should be he did not call me. So there are the small mistakes. And you are not the person who is doing such mistakes. There are many people who are working on a very big level, very big corporate sessions, and they are doing the same mistakes. So making mistake is not a crime. It is just only you should not repeat those mistakes once you know what exactly the correction is. So you can do as many mistakes you can, but remember, you need to know like those mistakes should not be repeated once you know the proper solution. Now, let's go to the next part. And the next part is having some basic idea, basic knowledge, basic structure, basic composition part for that particular language. Any language you are going to learn. For example, if you are going to learn Chinese, Russian, Hindi, Bengali, or uh, maybe um, Korean. So you should know the basic fundamental structure. For example, like I'm from India and my mother tongue is Hindi. And to learn Hindi, you need to know the basic concept. That is, you should know the subject, object, verb, auxiliary verb and the object. And how to use those particular structure to form a sentences. And if you do this, if you make practices on that, definitely you can be very good in speaking Indian languages. Similarly, if you are the person who need to speak English, you should have the basic formula, the basic structure for those things. I am the person who teaches English and I have got many students. There are some platforms where I work like Amazing Talker is one of the platforms where I work. Along with this, I do corporate trainings. I do some educational trainings, some kind of exams are there like IELTS, TOEFL, SAT, TOEIC. So you can contact me on the screen. You can see some contact details like uh, line ID, WhatsApp number, my email ID. You can personally contact with me and I would definitely help you. You can join my classes as well. And uh, I have said also maybe three months before that I'm going to have one webinar for the people who are struggling with understanding Indian accent. So for those people as well, I'm going to have this in coming days as I got very less responses last time. So we could not proceed with this. But now we have some people and maybe we are working on it in coming days. We are going to have the webinar that will definitely help you to boost your understanding with Indian Ascent. By the time, let's repeat what we have done today. So I said to you in the beginning, like we have the session to be fluent in English. And I said three points. The first point we have is to develop your thought system. 
So what you can do is, before sleeping at night, you just need to set your brain, what you have done today, how you spend your day, like what time you woke up, what you ate today, where you go, where home you made today. So these are the small basic things you need to just mug up in your brain. You need to, you know, repeat those things, repeat your day, leave your day one more time. And at that time, you need to think in English. Maybe you would be making mistakes and it would be difficult for you to to just present the entire scenario in one go. But keeping practices would definitely help you out in that one. Practices will always remind me one of the philosophers from Taiwan called Danapani. Danapani is one of the philosophers from Taiwan and uh, I really like his uh, psychology, his uh, philosophy. He says, like, whatever you are today, just because of the practices you have done. For example, if you are an honest person, how you are honest? Because you need the practices to be honest. If you are the person with great values, so you need the practices to be the great person. Along with this, if you are a person who did crime or who does wrong things, so similarly, you need the practices to be a wrong person. So practices will definitely come out and it becomes your character. So remember, pay attention, be aware and focus on your practices. By the time you need to only do the practices for English, the life psychology is different. We have certain videos for that and we'll be discussing out of this. The second point we thought about is making mistakes. Never afraid to be mistakes because everybody does mistakes. A mistake is not a mistake where you learn something. So do a mistake, don't repeat it. Just try to learn from that mistake, don't repeat and learn more. The last point we discuss is the composition part. You should have the knowledge about the basic composition part because that will definitely give you a confidence. So if you summarize these three points and if you work on it, definitely it will help you out and you will feel that you are focusing more on speaking English and you will boost your morale. You would be more faster. You will have fluency in your speaking. People will be impressed from your communication, from your um, the things you explore with the people. And along with this, as I said, like you can join me, you can connect with me. I'm the person who loves training the people because I'm the corporate trainer. I'm an English international tutor, a specialized person for Indian accent. And there are many other things. So you can contact with me. The details are given here. The details are also there in the description of this video. And also you can check out other videos as well, which are available on this channel. So by the time I'm sitting at my field, as in, I said in the beginning, like I am a farmer as well. We have some farms. At the time we have a um, agricultural land to agriculture doing things, wheat. And uh, it's the time right now is the evening. It's going to be dark. It's going to be night. So I'm going to back to my home and uh, see you in the next class, next video, next session. And if you have anything, anything, or you want to know something more about if you have, so just contact me. I would be eagerly waiting for your comments. So thank you so much and have a happy time. Bye-bye.